Hey, hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am sure we are about to do this her. I just watched it. If you want to know the deets on that, please watch my Vlogmas video for day one, December 1st. If you missed it, oh well. But anyway, so hair washed, leave in in. We're gonna seal with a new grease that I just got not too long ago. And it will be the Blue Magic Indian Hemp. Um, I hold, I held off on this one because this one and this one have very similar ingredients. This one is the Blue Magic Super Sure Grow, but nobody really hyped this one really. Like, there's no talk behind that one. Now, the Softy Indian Hemp people are raving about. And then obviously there is some people who swear by the Super Sure Grow that yes, it does help with lint retention and that it's a good grease. But like I said, they are very similar in ingredients. Like I think they're only, I think it's only like oh, two or three differences. Maybe uh, one is definitely the order of the ingredients. So y'all know the order is based on the amount. And then there's the, one of them has shea butter, the other one doesn't. I think that's only two differences to be honest. But anyway. So let's do some hair. I already got it separated and I don't plan on keeping it separated. I don't think, I don't know. And what I mean by that is, um, well, I separated quickly and it's probably not even even, but let me just go back in here right quick because if y'all know how I am, I'm just so indecisive. Like at first I was like, all right, cool. Let me just, um, separate my hair and do my four plaits so my hair can dry and then I can throw my wig on in case I need to but y'all if y'all watch my last video y'all know that I am kind of sick and tired of the whole wig thing I don't drop my comb I got the sneezies over here is that even even probably not my gray hair is exposing my youth. <laughs> Lord help me. Um, this wash day was very convenient for me. It only took me about um 35 40 minutes, if that. And I did not deep condition on purpose. And like I said, I'm doing the grease part on camera. So I probably, I don't know. Because I really truthfully want to go back into putting my ponytail in. And I keep dropping all my cones. And I got to get one. <laughs> Y'all excuse me. Okay. But like I said, honestly speaking, I don't know. I'm just, I don't feel my best today. I am very tired. I didn't even get out of bed till like 10.30. No joke. And if you know me, you know better. That's not me at all. That's not me at all. Okay. That'll do. Alright, so... Grease it is. Let's find a hair piece because I'm missing hair pieces now. Normally I braid my hair out, which I'm thinking about doing. It's just the idea that if I do that, then I have to put something over my hair versus not. Which is why I might just grease and twist. I might just do big twists. See how that works. All right, so this is the grease. This what it looks like. It smells almost like this one too, just a little bit different. Well, obviously this, this one smells better. Whatever perfume that's in this one and this one, they obviously put more in that one. This is a lighter smell, but it's a darker color. So far, like I said, Do Grow has not let me down. So let's just try it. Same consistency. Oh. 
This one smells more like grease. Like that. Uh, I can't explain it. But you know that grease smell? Especially like if you used to getting your hair like straight and iron. Almost like burnt smell. Yeah, this one don't smell as good as that one. And I know that alone would have people like, nah, I pass. But it don't bother me. Plus, I know it's going to linger for a little bit and then it's going to go away. Like, no big deal. It's lighter. It's way lighter. Like, the ingredients must... That might be what it is. Like, we can consider this any hemp because of the Indian hemp that's in it. But this is like a real lighter grease. Like, I think they went lighter on the oils. Because I noticed the oils are in a different order too. And that makes a difference. You know, some oils are thicker or lighter than others. And this consistency is a tad bit different. But it's not to the point where I'm like, ew. But I definitely can tell the difference. Okay. I think I'm just go ahead and put my bands on. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna be lazy, but I don't know. I do also notice that my hair is thriving since um doing this method too. So let's not even fight it. Let's just go ahead and braid the hair. I hate to be what's the word? Um you know, be all usual and whatnot and be all boring, but this is what's been working for me. And who knows, maybe if I am going to start to be sick or I got a cold or something, I probably should um, go ahead and put my hair in a position where I can put it away and throw my wig on, you know, like kind of like preparing for the worst. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just follow the Holy Spirit. Let's do, let's braid the hair. But so far, mm, I ain't got nothing bad to say. But like I said, for the few things that I did just mention, that's probably enough for a lot of you to say, I don't know about that one. And obviously everybody here is different. And that you always want to pay attention to that as well. But like I said, as for me, I am noticing that it is real light and airy. Compared, and, and don't get me wrong, because Blue Magic isn't heavy anyway. But we did discover that Blue Magic is heavier than Softy, in my opinion. But the smell is, is very, like, it has the same faint smell of this one, but this one, the Super Sugar Grove, definitely does smell better. So, if that's enough for you, like I said, it almost smells just like plain generic grease. And I know people, I know, I know people. Y'all might just, that might alone. Excuse me, I keep dropping everything. <laughs> that alone might be enough for you to be like, uh-uh. So, I'm going to do the rest of my hair, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the end result. I just want to show y'all a piece on camera and not take up too much of your time. So, just hold on for me, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I did this braid. And it wasn't until I did this braid till I realized my experience with this braid, if that makes sense. Okay, I do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more in front of y'all because, and then I probably just cut the camera off altogether. Um, cause I did notice something different with this particular grease. Put my top on that one, and just so y'all know, I did actually dig in to use this grease for these two plaques. But um, yeah, I noticed something right then, and like I said, I'm not trying to sell it because I know how people think and how they are. Because nobody's paying me to do nothing, but. I use about the same amount, but as y'all can see, it's real light and smooth, right? And out of all the do, I mean, all the blue magics that I used, um, it tends to have a different touch to it. Like when I rub it in my hair. It almost don't feel like grease no more. And that's kind of weird. Um, but obviously I can tell by like when my curls pop out, I can tell obviously I put some grease in my hair because grease is only but a few things that actually do that for my hair. So that's a given. 
But um, but I, I just realized when I like I said when I did this one, I realized with this one, like my plait was real smooth to braid. And not saying that's not always the case, but it, it just it's something different. I can't put my hands on it. Let me see. Let me see if I can. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I almost want to give this a thumbs up for braiding. Like, for what I'm doing for my hair for right now. Like, plaiting my hair down. This one's definitely the best feeling experience. Like, my, my hands don't feel all greasy. I don't feel like I got to wash my hands. Excuse me, y'all. That acid and stuff is just, oh. But I don't know. And even I'm looking at my plaits, they almost look better. And I, I'm just weirded out by it. So I just want to do one more on camera so you guys can tell me if you can see what I'm talking about. And, um, and it could be a combination of just everything I use. Like it could be the shampoo, it could be the conditioner, and it could be the leave-in. That might have something to do with it. I'm not ruling that out. I just, I, I, it's a good thing for me. But like I said, because I almost, and this is proof that you don't want to focus too much on what may appear to be a bad thing. Like I said, the smell, the smell don't smell like that one. And the texture's different. The color is not even appealing to me, in my honest opinion. Like, you, you want me to be honest, like, that's... Look at it compared to um, this one. Like <laughs> this one, obviously look better, right? And that one has shea butter in it. This one doesn't. And I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, shea butter. They both got jojoba. This one just says green tea. This one says Japanese green tea. So, I don't know if they got, you know, like, it's such, it seems subtle to me, like, these differences, but they may make all the difference. You get what I'm saying? So, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't want to take up too much of your time, because I probably did not want the video to be long, but even the elongation of the braids, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think. Like, am I tripping? I don't know. Because it is, because I'm going to use it again. <laughs> Best believe when I redo these plaques, I'm going to use this again. Hmm. Now, like I said, because on the packaging, I told y'all, like, it's almost like they kind of give you a heads up about what, what can you expect out of this one. And this one says less breakage means longer hair, which will be backing up what people say that they, when they use that one, they see their hair growth. And then this one just say made with, um, with herbs, you can actually see, which is duh. But what are you doing for me, Indian hip? Let's talk about that. But I'm going to do this last piece, child. I'm going to let y'all go. But I just want, I don't know. Let me get closer. I'm, I'm and it's because I'm used to my back being chunky and my braids not being. I don't know, maybe it's just having a good hair day. Look at that one, nice and elongated. I don't know, y'all let me know. <laughs> I could just be crazy, but so far, I get any hint with thumbs up. So hopefully, you would too. But here you go, this is what it looks like. So it'd be no confusion. The Blue Magic Original Indian Hemp that's the package. Tell me what you think, you guys. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.